So tell me when you're ready, and then we'll go one, two, three. Wait, wait, we got to do that. Right. So you got the line? One, two, three. When I was a senior, after the 1975 season, uh, our basketball team, which featured Phil Sellers, Mike Dodney, uh, James Bailey, all went on to the NBA. Ed Jordan, who's now the coach here, was an, was an All-American. He went on to the NBA. And Hollis Copeland, who was a first-round draft choice of the Knicks. That basketball team captured this campus like you can't believe. Captured the nation. They ended up going to the Final Four. And they're still probably the best collection of athletes I've ever seen. And uh, I was a member of the Deke House at the time. And we would go en masse from the Deke House, walk up to the barn, which was two blocks away, and watch the greatest basketball you ever saw. And one of my fondest memories is my wife, who was then my girlfriend, came for the last game against St. Bonaventures, which was, um, we were undefeated. And if we beat St. Bonnie's, who was a real good team, uh, we'd finish undefeated and go to the NCAAs as an undefeated team. After the game, we went back to the Deke House and stood on the porch, and then the team, the basketball team, which won, was placed on the roof of a bus that was then surrounded by 5,000, 6,000 students walking down College Avenue with that bus so that those team members could ring the bell. And I think it was like the first time in 50 years that the, the bell had been rung by athletes at Rutgers. And it looked like that bus was being transported in a, in a sea of human beings right down College Avenue, Old Queens, where they went up at like midnight and rung the bell. And you can go there now and you can see their name signed on the door that lets you go upstairs to where uh, the bell is kept. Uh, that was a great memory. Great.